Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am The Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins. If this is your first time watching the channel, thank you for being here. If you find that you like the content, please don't forget to like this video and then subscribe to the channel because that will put your energy in these card decks and you never know, next time you drop back by to see a video, your own very own personal story could be in these cards because your energy is in here with us. Also, try. thank you so much for all of your likes and all of your shares and all of your subscribes and your comments. Thank you for the way you love each other in the comments. Encourage one another. Love and light, love and light. Thank you for the way you love and support me on this channel. I hope I'm doing the same for you. We're in this together and I cannot imagine being on this journey without you guys. Thank you. Finally, if you like the way I read these cards and the way the messages come through me from spirit, then you can book yourself a personal reading with me. I call my personal readings Love and Light Sessions. I have three different options down there in the description box below. I book through Calendly. Click on one of the links you like, and then it'll be just like two old friends chatting over Tarot. All right, so let's get to the T right now for the collective. These cards have been pre-shuffled, and I've been handling them because that's what I like to do is shuffle the cards. So let's see what's going on. These messages are general, and they're going to probably be all over the place, but you can you know, pick and choose what, you, what resonates with you and what doesn't. Just leave it for someone else. If we get us a nice little uh, storyline, then we'll get it. If not, we'll just get a bunch of random messages, and we're going to call it the T. Ten cards. One, the lovers. Two, courtship. Three, the message. Four, coffin. Five, official person. Six, child. Seven, house. Eight, thief. Nine, main male. Ten, marriage. Bottom of the deck, great fortune. <laughs> that is my successful venture card. It also could mean money, but it most is mostly meaning to me. Number eight might mean something. Number eight, uh, August. The month of August might be very, very. Um, crucial for you and very successful for you because there is a major portal, 8-8, eight, eight, right? That's the bottom of the deck. Actually, I put it right there. So we have a couple of players out here. We have the main male with the official person, <laughs> probably a karmic situation. What's touching? Let's see, the lovers and courtship is touching. There's a beginning of a new romance. This is um. There's a romance going definitely to another level because when you think about courtship, let me just give you these in this trio. When you think about courtship, you think about the beginnings, the when you're just walking and talking and, you know, emailing and texting late at night or early in the morning or all throughout the day, right? It's also maybe a twin flame a connection, but it just could be a very, very good connection, you know? Soulmate, a really wonderful love connection. And there's definitely a message coming in about this, meaning, like I said, there's a lot of communication because this relationship is going to the next level. Four is all about stability and, and, and firm foundations. Seven is all about an, an awakening and an enlightenment, uh, specifically a spiritual awakening, okay? And the number 15 clarifies to one plus six is uh, one plus five is six. And that's all about the emotional depth. So there's a relationship that's taken on a deeper connection. And you guys have already been in communication. And if you haven't, then there's definitely a message coming for you. Probably still this month. We have still have days left in this month. Okay. This might have started for some of you in the month of June. The deepening of the connection maybe in the month of June. It doesn't have to be, but it is a message. And then we have something ending with the official person. Somebody might call this a baby mama. You might call this, you say, the narcissist. Somebody might have been dealing with a person like an, um, uh, a narcissist empath um, paradigm. Could have been dealing with somebody that was full of themselves. Could have been dealing with somebody in the military. Um, could have been dealing with um, a, a police officer, a, a fireman, someone that wears a uniform. Okay, somebody in official capacity. Could be even be a judge, you know, um, but anyway, or somebody might have had some dealings with the law and that's behind them. You know, you might have you might have a masculine that, you know, is coming off coming on to probation now after, you know, doing some time, you know, coming on after parole. Maybe they did 19, 10 years, 22 years, or maybe even four years. Either way, you know, it's behind them now. Um, well, I do see there's still some parole, um, probation visits. Anyway, different message. Now, back to what I was saying. There could be in a relationship ending with, a, like I said, a baby mama or wife. Um, doesn't any Nothing indicates that, but what this does indicate with me with the official person is whatever it is, it was on paper or it was also, um, you know, something that was recognized. It wasn't, it wasn't a secret, okay? It wasn't a secret. 
And it probably was something holding you up, holding these lovers up because this relationship is now deepening with the bond. All right. Have someone new. Maybe have someone setting up house with somebody, doing something new, going in a new direction. This child represents, it could be a literal child. There might be a new baby in the house. You might be pregnant right now and you're about to set up house. Um, card number 18 is as it goes to a number nine, right? Then we have the 20 right there. Like I said, you 9, 20, you September, um, you might be due in September um, to, to uh birth your baby if not again i am feeling very strongly that somebody's setting up house with someone you know um they're relocating probably this courtship coming to the next level somebody's going to move in together or uh buy a buy a home together buy a new house together uh, could be because this child card represents um new or soon you know very soon okay yeah i feel like somebody's uh this is a new start to me Somebody start having a new start. All right. Let's see. The thief in the main male probably feels like somebody stole his time, stole his woman, stole his 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 happiness. You know, had probably had something to do with this home and house situation, this home and family situation. Because also, if you put these four cards together, there's a thief there between the masculine and this home and this baby, this child. So you know, it could be a like I said, a home situation. Uh, having children, uh, dealing with children, uh, because, and then you have the little boy here and you have this woman here mocking this man trying to walk. He's just trying to live his life. There's another number six. The other number six that we have is coming from the, what? The lovers. So maybe the thief, you know, this, the, the rubbers were, were robbed of their time, of their, of their chance to start, you know, this, this divine masculine is pretty, pretty bummed about it, right? I feel like I've said this message before though, but anyway, it could be a home situation, some kind of family situation that robbed him of time happiness joy peace but you know like i said it's coming up as a main male because marriage is here that could be on this menu because after divine masculine was the marriage could we definitely and then we have of course like i said the success card right here so whatever this is it's a good outcome it's a good ending what's behind that boom yep thoughts definitely been thinking about it right so put that back let's clarify the divine masculine this main male in this marriage card and then we'll put one on the thief, the house, and the child. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, Matt, divine male or the main male is the card number one. Marriage is card number three. One plus three is what? Four. Four one. Boom. Right? So, so yeah, it looks like, yeah. So maybe divine feminine, you like, you know what? Why you still dealing with all the stuff you're dealing with since you're stuck in the situation? I'm going to roll out. Now the masculine has become the chaser, Right? His fear of abandonment issue, that's why he's running so hard after you. And he's trying to say, I'm thinking about marriage now. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. <laughs> Jagged edge. I can't stop singing every time. Let's get married, right? The match going to say, look at, this, look at the card. Come on. Look at that lady running towards. Come on. And somebody's running towards a marriage, a union, right? Got the lovers out here, the courtship, like we said. Look. With these three cards and messages coming in courtship card ready to take this to another level boom i love you we're the lovers you know we got a union this is divine right so anyway yeah the masculine has become the chaser and he is like i'm let's get married okay put one on the child the house and the thief card this trio right here let's clarify these guys what's that Woo. Woo. i just saw the butterfly peek over that's the relationship evolving to the next phase i know give me one what is this what is this thief and oh why can't I shuffle these cards don't you hold this message from me okay <laughs> yep love call someone's going to express their love someone's going to give you a message of love thinking of you and letting you know yep because some definitely trying to set up a house because they feel like enough time has been lost right Somebody wants to set up a house with you, set up a new life, start a new life with you because they feel like enough time has been lost with, with the thief card and they're going to call you about it. So we got a message and a call. Look at that. See, they, you're going to look, you're going to get a message, love call and the message. What? They're going to tell you about it. Divine masculine is going to come tell you, God, I love you. Put one more on this trio right here, the child in the home and the thief card unconditional love, giving and receiving love and falling in love. I love it. Yep. They're ready to start something new. Enough time has been lost and wasted. <laughs> I'm ready to start this life with you. All right? Put one on the official person. Y'all, we don't even really need to put one on us, but we got to anyway. We got to. We got to. Put one on the official person in the coffin. 
Something's over. 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 Okay. I'll take all three of those just because. <laughs> Definitely. Things are coming to light. Change. Heal. This is the dragonfly. Keep a positive mindset to manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude is on here. Grat I'm so grateful this is over. Gratitude as well as risk. Being strategic, taking a chance, hand of cards. Yeah, this masculine definitely took a chance and definitely was probably being strategic to end this with this uh, with this official person. But clearly, great success. He's trying to come in and get married. The DM has become the chaser, and he's running after your hand in marriage. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think that's it. That'll be that'll be it. The DM has become the chaser, and he's running after your hand in marriage. <laughs> I want you to just look at it. Yeah, look at I can't get over there. They're like, wait, hello, hello, wait. She's running, right? Yep, he wants you. All right. Romance angels. Oh, that peak. I'll keep going. I'll take it. Oh, new love. That, that yeah. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. They probably do feel new after they've ended it with this official person. But for some of you who take this message, there's somebody on the horizon for you. Yes. But for this, this storyline that I just got, yeah, it's going to feel like a new love, right? Because it's a courtship. This is A courtship is a new romance. It's another level. And it's the start of a romance. Told you. Might have started for some of you in April. Mm-hmm. Right. Here it comes. And they're chasing hard after you. They're, they're free and clear. They're ready to go. So if your person, when they talk to you, uh, as they've been in your energy, you know, in the past, they might have been in, a, in an entanglement, <laughs> right? But anyway, they're free and clear because he's ready. This 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 divine masculine is ready for marriage. He's he's not he's now the chaser, right? Okay. Boom! Wow, we just had that last reading. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yes, you are. It's coming for you. All right. Maybe that was the block last time. Got the great fortune card out here. One more, please. One more, please. Thank you. Ooh, three more. Okay, okay. Okay, four more. Wow. Wow, you guys. I'm a t I'll am take all of them. This is for somebody. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Boom. You know who that is. Put it where it goes. Yes, this is your soulmate. All right, for those of you going through this next level of commitment right here, this is the T. This courtship is leading to, this is your, you've met your soulmate, lovers, see? You've met your soulmate. For some of you, you might have met them in June, or this relationship went to the next level in June for you. Let go of those control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You don't have to rush. You don't have to worry about it. This is what he looks like. He's thinking of marriage, so you're okay. Let go of your control issues. You can trust this one. This is your soulmate. And boom, what did we say earlier? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment engagement right told you somebody's going to another level of commitment because they're ready for marriage <laughs> for some of you some of you the bond is just deepening and for others of you yeah they're going to give you a ring <laughs> and they're going to tell you all about it <laughs> okay all right that is the t and now for the person watching can i have one message for from the person that they're watching for for well, the person watching, may I have a message from the person that they're watching for? Okay, that's good. Let me just peek at the bottom of that deck. Y'all know how I am with my bottom deck energy. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, new level of commitment all goes together. First one is balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Balance. Let there be... And let, why are you doing that? Let that go of that control issues. <laughs> and then surrender. At times we must let go. I'm sorry. At, I don't know where that came from. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Let go and all will work out. Go ahead and surrender to this. <laughs> all right. Because this is your soulmate. Okay, guys, don't forget to hit the notifications bell to keep up with new videos. Um, thank you for watching. Until we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.